我我。All right, so if you watched my last video on my gear, you noticed there's been uh, quite a bit of changes in my uh, in my setup. So decided to make a new video about it. Almost every everything has changed since the last video. So, so I was made like a year and a half ago. I'll link it in the description if you want to see it. If you want to see the changes, hey, I think these changes have been improvements. So I'm just gonna go through it all, uh, excluding the gun. I went through that in a different video. I'll let, also like that in the description basically so I'm gonna start from top to bottom with my gear and yeah hopefully I won't take like 10 minutes and start of the entire time just like last time but also before the video goes any further keep in mind all this stuff this is this isn't real obviously it is for airsoft do not think I'm real military because you know it's just freaking airsoft so I just want to make that clarify with anyone that's oh you military you say you military Anyway, back to the video. So, um, one big change is I've ch completely changed my uh, camouflage pattern to tropical multicam because uh, in the area I live, it is a very wooded area. So I think this would work best in that environment opposed to uh, ATAX FG, which I used in my other uh, loadouts. So anyway, top to bottom, getting started. The helmet, uh, the helmet is just your basic like polymer uh polymer fast helmet with a multi-cam uh helmet cover on uh if, as you can see i did change my face setup to instead of a full face mask i use goggles and mesh the goggles i'm using are valken dual lens uh anti-fog goggles uh they and yes they do not they do not fog they have never fogged on me once and i it is it's good <laughs> I'm starting to study already. The mesh is just some twenty dollar mesh uh, faceplate that I got from Lancer Tactical, and that not much, not much to it. So I'll just take this off. Also, if you did watch my last video, yes, I did not cut my hair. I am not cutting my hair until I see the time. Next. Ah. So onto the plate carrier. I got this plate carrier fairly recently, so unfortunately, I have not been out in the field with it yet. But so. So far, um, it, it does feel quite nice. It's quite uh, cumbersome. And it's also, it's also compact, which I like, because I get a better range of motion on my shoulders, my hips. Because my, my other vest went down to like here, and also the, uh, the, the shoulder straps went out, out to here, so my rate, so it felt uncomfortable to go pro on the ground and move my shoulders around a lot. But um, the, uh, the mags are dual mag, um holders i only have one in there right now because otherwise it would make me look fat oh yeah yeah one of the downsides of this vest it does make you look, look a little fat so and anyway, that's the blade carrier the backpack has not changed it's just the same like 30 dollar back backpack i got from like amazon yeah and uh so on on to oh yeah so real oh yeah i might as well t cover the camo the camo so I got this off of uh, militaryclothing.com for a hundred dollars each, um, and that's 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 pretty much it. Not much else to say about this. Oh, well, it does feel quite high, high quality. It's a little little big on me, but it doesn't really matter because it then just means I can move around a lot better. And my other camera it was like a size too small, so going like this was a bit of a hassle. So um, my holster. I got, I finally was able to get a left hand holster for uh, like $20 off of EVIC. As, as I mentioned earlier, I am left handed, so it makes it a lot easier just to pull it a lot better than using my off hand and missing half my shots. Then uh, the knee guards, oh yeah, last thing, knee guards. I just got, I just got these from Home Depot, honestly, because other knee guards are like 40 to $50 and you can get these for like, I don't know, like 15. So. No, no sense in spending fifty dollars on uh, like polymer knee pads that are probably gonna break on you if you just go like, you know, with these that are foam, meant to survive in a, in a work environment. Cause my dad actually uses these when he works with uh, concrete, and so they they work pretty well. Although a little loose, they're they're fine. It's airsoft, it doesn't matter. So uh, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty much it. I think I I got through this fairly quick. Oh yeah, I am. 
I'm stuttering so much. I did not plan this out. The gloves. Yeah, these are these are just some like uh, multi-cam gloves. I know it doesn't match with the rest of my cam. With, again, who cares? It's airsoft. Uh, I do like these a lot better than my, my other gloves because they fit a lot better and they do offer a little more protection. And that's that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, if you didn't see my last gear video, then check it out. It got a surprising amount of views. I don't count on this one getting as many views. So uh, yeah, and also all of this, all, all my gear, if I can find it again, I will link in the description along with the two other videos. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you all for watching. I will see you star side. Oh, okay, so the guy died as soon as he got the